Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So in this video, I will be going over causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment and prevention of urinary tract infection. Let's get into the details. So as you see here, urinary system, it consists of kidneys, ureter, bladder and urethra. Now the urinary tract can be divided into upper urinary tract and lower urinary tract. Now the upper urinary tract it consists of two kidneys and ureters for each one of them whereas the lower urinary tract it consists of bladder and urethra. A urinary tract infection which is simply referred as UTI it is an infection in any part of the urinary system. So that may involve kidneys, ureters, bladder and also it can involve urethra. Now, if a urinary tract infection occurs in the kidneys and ureters that is simply referred as upper urinary tract infection and that is referred as pyelonephritis. Whereas if the urinary tract infection occurs in the bladder and urethra that is referred as lower urinary tract infection. If the infection happens in the bladder that is referred as cystitis and if it happens in the urethra it is referred as urethritis. Now let us get into types of urinary tract infection little more details on that. A urinary tract infection can happen anywhere in the urinary tract. It can involve all the way from kidneys to urethra. However, remember lower urinary tract infection is more common than upper urinary tract infection. That means involvement of the bladder and urethra is more common than the involvement of kidneys and ureters. But note that although lower urinary tract infection is more common but it is less severe than the upper urinary tract infection. The meaning if there is upper urinary tract infection, it is a severe form of urinary tract infection. Remember that part. And also when it comes to the frequency of urinary tract infection between men and women, it is more common in females than in males. Uh, in terms of ratio, it can be 8 is to 1. That means for ev every 8 women having suffering from urinary tract infection, there will be one man suffering from urinary tract infection. Now let us get into the risk factors for urinary tract infection. So as I said already women are at higher risk of suffering from urinary tract infection compared to men it is because of female anatomy of urinary system itself. And also note that so anus, vagina and urethra all of them are closer to each other. So, there is higher chances of spread of infection here in this particular area. And also, a woman has shorter urethra compared to men and thereby spread of infection into the bladder will be much quicker in females than in males. What are the other fact risk factors for urinary tract infection? One of that is sexual activity. So, sexually active women are at higher risk of urinary tract infection compared to a sexually inactive women and so certain types of birth control especially uh, non lubricated condoms or it may be diaphragms or uh, any spermicidal agents that are used that can put a uh, higher risk of suffering from urinary tract infection. Pregnancy is one of the risk factor for urinary tract infection because of the changes in the hormones that will go on during pregnancy will put them at higher risk of urinary tract infection. Menopause. A decline in circulating estrogen may also lead to changes in the urinary tract and that may predispose to increased risk for urinary tract infection. So other than these four risk factors, there are some other risk factors for urinary tract infection. One is the use of catheter, especially patients who are bedridden or hospitalized. So there may be a use of catheter in them and that will pose a higher risk of urinary tract infection in them or it can be any abnormalities in the urinary uh, system can also lead to higher risk of urinary tract infection or any blockage in the urinary tract. It can be because of a stone in the pylorus or stone in the kidney basically leading to pylo 
nephritis that can also a risk factor for urinary tract infection immune suppression especially in diabetes patients or any other diseases where immune suppression is there or immunity is down so that will also predispose to those patients suffering from urinary tract infection and also a lack of personal hygiene is one of the risk factor for urinary tract infection coming to causes for urinary tract infection note that urinary tract infections typically occur when bacteria enter the urinary tract through a urethra and it begin to multiply in the bladder although our body is able to fight against these bacteria but when this defense fails at that time bacteria it will hold and it will grow in it will into full blown infection leading to urinary tract infection now what which is the bacteria that is most common cause for urinary tract infection it is the e coli remember that e coli which is simply referred as eucherichia coli so the eucherichia coli it causes 70 to 95 percent of both upper urinary tract infection and also lower urinary tract infection note that if there is infection of the bladder which we refer it as cystitis and the cause for cystitis it includes again e coli infection or sexual intercourse may also lead to cystitis and female anatomy of the urinary system itself may predispose to cystitis because of the shorter urethra now if there is infection of the urethra which is referred as urethritis it is usually because of spread of infection from anus to urethra or it can be because of sexually transmitted infections like uh, chlamydia gonorrhea or mycoplasma things like that now what are the common symptoms of urinary tract infection a burning sensation when urinating is one of the common symptom of urinary tract infection or it can be increased frequency of urination without passing much urine or increased urgency of urination can be seen a urine that has a strong odor or urine may be cloudy not clear or sometimes uh, some patients may may see blood in the urine and also a uh, woman may feel pelvic pressure or pelvic pain and men can feel a rectal pain these are some of the common symptoms of urinary tract infection now there are some specific symptoms that will differentiate a different types of urinary tract infection especially upper urinary tract infection compared to the lower urinary tract infection like during pyelonephritis as you know now pyelonephritis it is uh, infection of the kidney and ureters so during pyelonephritis there can be back pain or flank pain and that is associated with high grade fever shaking and chills and also associated with nausea and vomiting whereas infection of the bladder which we refer it as cystitis can be associated with low grade fever pelvic pain lower abdominal discomfort frequent and painful urination sometimes you may also see blood in the urine and if there is a infection in the urethra that is the last part of the urinary system so that is referred as urethritis here so usually patient will sh uh, will show burning with urination sometimes it may be associated with discharge now what are the complications of urinary tract infection note that treated promptly and properly lower urinary tract infections rarely lead to any complications but when it is left untreated a urinary tract infection can have serious complications what are the complications of urinary tract infection so it is a recurrent urinary tract infection can be seen so what when do you say person has got recurrent urinary tract infection it is especially when women experiences two or more urinary tract infection in six month period or four or more urinary tract infection within one year is called as a recurrent urinary tract infection and also note that urinary tract infection can lead to acute or chronic pyelonephritis leading to permanent uh, kidney damage and in pregnant women uh, urinary tract infection may lead to increased risk of women delivering low birth weight infants or premature infants and urinary tract infections uh, especially in men it may lead to urethral narrowing or strictures in the urethra and most importantly and uh, the most 
fatal or life threatening complication that is associated with urinary tract infection is sepsis where a bacteria which will make all the way to kidney and then into the blood leading to septicemia and it can also lead to end organ failure and uh, multiple organ failure can happen that's one of the life threatening complication of urinary tract infection that you must be aware of now how, how to prevent urinary tract infection prevention of urinary tract infection first and most foremost thing is you got to stay hydrated drink plenty of liquid especially water drinking enough water is one of the easiest ways to help prevent and treat urinary tract infection so what happens when we drink plenty of water so drinking water helps dilute a urine and also it ensures that more urination which happens frequently will allow bacteria to be flushed out of our body through the urine now drinking cranberry juice although studies are not conclusive that cranberry juice prevents urinary tract infection cranberry juice or cranberries they as such they don't treat urinary tract infections but however uh, certain chemicals especially the antioxidants anti-inflammatory agents that are present in cranberries may prevent uh, certain types of bacteria that can cause bacterial urinary tract infection and also they may help in preventing future urinary tract infection so that's how uh, drinking cranberry juice might help to prevent urinary tract infection and also urinate when the need arises frequent urina urination puts pressure on bacteria in the urinary system and which can uh, help to clear the bacteria out of the system practice good sexual hygiene sexual intercourse introduces bacteria and other microbes from outside the body to the ur urinary tract so practicing good sexual hygiene can help to reduce number of bacteria that people can transfer during intercourse and other sexual acts example of good sexual hygiene includes urinating before and immediately after sex using barrier contraception such as condoms washing the genitals especially the foreskin before and after engaging in sexual act or intercourse ensuring that sexual partners are aware of any current or previous urinary tract infections and also avoiding potentially irritant feminine uh, products will also help in preventing urinary tract infection like using deodorant sprays or other feminine products such as douches and powders in the genital area can irritate the urethra and may lead to urinary tract infection and wipe from front to back wiping from front to back doing so after urinating and after a bowel movement helps to prevent bacteria in the anal region from spreading to the vagina and urethra wear a uh, cotton underwear and also loose fitting clothing to keep the area around the urethra dry and also use of sanitary napkins or menstrual cups are preferred to tampons in prevention of urinary tract infection now let's come to diagnosis of urinary tract infection one of the tests that is done to diagnose urinary tract infection is urine analysis analyzing urine sample for white blood cells red blood cells or bacteria is done uh, to avoid any potential contamination of the urine sample you may be instructed to first wipe your genital area with an antiseptic pad and collect a uh, urine midstream now the other test that may be done in diagnosis of urinary tract infection is urine culture and sensitivity now during urine culture and sensitivity so this will identify and indicate the type of bacteria that is the cause for urinary, urinary tract infection and also it will help to uh, help to choose appropriate medication to treat that urinary tract infection Sometimes uh, urinary system imaging is also necessary to diagnose urinary tract infection and uh, imaging techniques can be ultrasound, computed uh, tomography that is CT scan or uh, MRI scanning can also be done and sometimes it may be indicated to use uh, contrast dye to know the any abnormalities present in the urinary system. Sometimes the cystoscopy which is done it is a tube that is inserted through the urethra all the way to the bladder to inspect uh, if there is any abnormality or infection in the urethra and the bladder. So these are some of the diagnostic tests that we do in the diagnosis of urinary tract infection. Now let's move on to see the treatment. 
usually a uh, pain medication that is uh, analgesics and also urine alkalinizers are uh, given to relieve symptoms uh, generally it is uh, can be aspirin it can be paracetamol or phenazopyridine which will decrease uh, burning sensation and uh, painful urination uh, that is uh, symptom those are symptom relievers in simple urinary tract infection uh, antibiotics are prescribed and uh, note that antibiotics are the first line of treatment for urinary tract infection now the simple infections can be treated uh, using antibiotics it can be bactrim septron which contains trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole nitrofurantoin cephalosporin group of drugs can be used generally urinary tract in, uh, infection these symptoms they will clear up within few days after starting antibiotics but sometimes we may need to continue antibiotics for a week or more just to make sure that all the symptoms disappeared and uh, treatment is complete now if there is a frequent urinary tract infection at that time low dose antibiotics has to be initiated for a long period of time usually sometimes it goes in weeks to months and if there is a severe infection so for severe infection a uh, intravenous antibiotics has to be administered and for that patient need to be hospitalized now what are the home remedies uh, for urinary tract infection drink plenty of water when you have urinary tract infection or it, you can choose uh, drinking tender coconut water just to dilute urine and flush out and flush out bacteria from the system and avoid drinking coffee or and avoid drinks that may irritate the bladder like avoiding coffee alcohol soft drinks uh, containing citrus juice or caffeine until the infection has been cleared so because they can irritate uh, bladder and tend to aggravate uh, uh, frequency or urgency in uh, urination and uh, as i said earlier uh, drinking cranberry juice may also help in treatment of urinary tract infection and also it may help to prevent future urinary tract infection so that's about uh, causes risk factors symptoms diagnosis treatment and also prevention of urinary tract infection thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos and also for regular notification thank you